We're coming to you live from the media deck of the USS PlayStation booth. Up here is one of the busier areas. We've got uh, people trying out the Vita all over the place. Um, these stations, people have been coming in, shooting video, and uh, uh, we've come over here right now because these things, you can't go home with one. That thing is locked down. So we've come to you, and you are Pete Smith from Sony Computer Entertainment Liverpool, and uh, you've been you've been working on the Little Big Planet franchise for some time now. Yeah, yeah, I've been working on Little Big Planet since right at the start, since since it looked nothing like Little Big Planet, and it was this odd little platform game with this 2D character walking around, and a development team just full of these mad ideas going, we're gonna take over the world with user-created content, and we went, that sounds fantastic, and the game turned out amazing, and now PlayStation Vita is just the perfect device for Little Big Planet. We're absolutely loving it. All of the features of the of the PlayStation Vita. Yeah, we're let's using. go. Let's go ahead and look at it here. Um, okay, so, so we got the planet here, and we got the planet. Yep, um, and Little Big Planet is very tactile by nature, so it makes sense to do it as touch. So you can kind of squeeze the planet, pinch the planet. And um, we're going to today talk you through a level we built specifically for E3. So let's talk about the, the game, the structures. Is this, is this Little Big Planet 2? Is this? Uh, is I mean, how how? What are we looking at content-wise? So this is completely utterly new. Everything is new. Yeah, we could have took an easy route and done a port. So we said that's not Little Big Planet. The story's new. The levels are new. The games are new. But it's also a new approach. We want to talk. We want to play more about. Um, standalone pick up and play experiences which is what you'd want on a portable as opposed to big epic platform levels um, and you'll see some of that today so I'm going to just use a touch to open the curtains and everything in this level that you see with this starred material is touchable so I can move things around also what's really cool it looks really really nice there's yeah. the lighting and everything I mean you guys I mean the, the, the processing power of the Vita is uh, not not having a trouble with a uh, little big planet you would say well, you know, I mean, it's a really good question because PlayStation 3 looked fantastic, yeah. and Little Big Planet push, pushes the PlayStation 3 to its absolute limit. So then you say, okay, now we're going to do it on a PlayStation Vita. But actually, because of the smaller screen in relation to a massive big monitor, you can create your assets that a little bit lower, but they still stand up perfectly. So actually, the two are comparing really, really well. And you know, you, I would say the two look pretty much the same, which is like totally amazing. And when we started getting the graphics up and running and saw that, we were like, wow, this device is fantastic. So I'm now just going to dress as Jack Sparrow. Um, oh, so that, now that was from the Pirates of the Caribbean pack that was out for Little Big Planet on PS3. Yeah, yeah. And if you bought it on PlayStation 3, it will automatically come across for free onto PlayStation Vita. That's cool, yeah. Hey, if you move into a new house, you still take your wardrobe with you, right? <laughs> Absolutely. And your pirate outfit. So <laughs> I've just got to now uh, jump and I'll start the level off. So. Uh, I'm walking through the level. This is a carnival-themed level. Um, I'm going to walk through a whale's belly, as you'd expect with a little Like you do. <laughs> yeah. And here we've got, uh, unfortunately, you can't hear it with the show floor, but we've got a fully working piano. And if I play LBP, that should open the door and I can go through. OK. Uh, um, now, we've got all of the standard um, controls for Little Big Planet, but having an analog stick, a real proper analog stick, really really helps and it feels very natural you can just get to grips with it straight away so you, you're grabbing with uh, r1 and then you're uh, d jumping with x that's right yeah grab with r1 jump with x and use the analog stick um, but then obviously we'll layer into that things like touch and here we've got a little tilt problem so i'm going to tilt this dude across and i walk over grab his feet tilt him back okay and then now you start layering things, so now I'm going to grab, and then I'm going to touch, throw him around, and I'm back onto this guy, and I'm going to tilt him back. And it feels really intuitive, and, and one of the great things about Little Big Planet, obviously, is everything that you see in the game, you can make yourself. So if you want to make a touch game, a tilt game, a rear touch game, you can do that. And um, I think we're going to see some really fantastically creative games made by people. And I think what's going to be great is that it's going to feel a little bit different to PlayStation 3, which in a positive way, people will make different kinds of games. Um, and we're building new tools to try to maximize that as well. So people try to think, right, it's PlayStation Vita. I'm going to build something suitable for a portable device. So here we've got a bit of a, a puzzle. I need to lift this platform. Um, I've got a switch here and I've got a block here. So I'll just move that across. I'll jump over, oops, onto the switch, and then I can move the block underneath, and I can jump through. Nice and simple, and very, very intuitive. Now this is where it gets really cool, yeah? So here we've got rear touch. 
So you'll see when I move my finger on the rear touch, the fingerprint appears. Can we get a, a shot of it, uh, his hands down here? So, so I'm moving around on the back. So then if I kind of just pull across there, and there you go, and I can kind of push them back in. I'll push them out. Okay. So, and then I could just do that. And that, okay, so that's your rear touch. And, you know, that's kind of cool, but it's not really interesting. Well, you know what? We've got a really cool puzzle here now, which is a little bit more interesting. So here I need to push blocks out and push them back in. And I need to get Satboy to the top of the screen. So, so you're, you're, you're pushing out the platform, I'm and, it's, and it is one-to-one. -one. This is something that Absolutely. is really, I want to, you mind? Oh, yeah. nice. <laughs> Oops. I, I'm not helping you out. I'm just screwing around. <laughs> um, Okay, so I'll just push that back in, I'll drag across. Um, okay, and you know, we're finding the designers are really liking the rear touch because it's just something new, and it's like things they've not been able to do in the past. And hopefully gamers will be able to find that as well, is that you know, if they look at this device and go, oh, wow, imagine the things you could do with rear touch. Well, you know what, they can make them themselves, yeah? So uh, a thing that we had said, I think, with uh, Little Big Planet, it was, uh, you know, it was a platform game, and then Little Big Planet, it was, a plat a platform for games. Yeah. What would be the uh, the in a bucket here with uh, with Little Big Planet for Vita? Um, so we're saying um, we said we with PlayStation Two we were talking about a handmade arcade. Now we're saying it's a handheld arcade. Yeah, make your own handheld arcade, and we want people making games um, more sort of maybe even app style app store style games. Um, so st smaller games, and you don't even have to make games. Yeah. You know, I was talking the other day about uh, with one of the designers about if we did a spirit level app. Yeah, it wouldn't really be an app, but you'd use tilt, you have a ball, it rolls around, yeah, and you've got a spirit level, yeah. Someone's going to make one of those. I'm probably going to make it myself, actually, because I think it's a cool idea. Um, so now, one of the things which was really important for PlayStation, uh, the PlayStation 3 version, is the social side of multiplayer. Yeah. So we've got four-player multiplayer, which is really cool, yeah, and you can do that over Wi-Fi, you can do it over... Um, um, locally, um, ad hoc. Um, if you've got four guys all in the same room, they can play and they can play over the internet. But also, what was really fun about PlayStation 3 was people playing all around the same TV. It was quite a social experience. Right, right. Well, now, with the multi-touch screen, you can do that with the PlayStation Vita. So I'm going to show you now a level we knocked up. This level was done in 24 hours, then we polished it up. You, you all love doing that. And I'll tell you why, because your boss said that the level we did wasn't good enough. And he said, do us a new level. <laughs> All right, so what do we got? Oh, so like uh, an air hockey game, kind yeah. of, yeah? So here we go. So basically, you just move left and right. It's so simple. Yeah. This is great. <laughs> and um, it's the first one to 10, but we won't play to 10. We, we, oh, well, we, <laughs> we play to 10 if I, if I can't stop a shot. <laughs> uh, there we go. You could have two players. You could have four players. Uh, but this could be a rear touch game. Until, you could even use an analog stick. We've got one on each end. So you could put, you could put each other on an analog stick, or you can use the, the tilt. Um, all of the features, but I think this is going to be a really cool feature because it's a real, really social for PlayStation Vita. It's, then it's just a different. It's cool that you don't. If you can play multiplayer, but without necessarily having to be online, this is uh, a, a, a kind of like an app, like you said. Yeah, that's right. Because some people, you know, they might not be online. They might not have two PlayStation Vitas, but the friends come around, yeah, and they want to show off the kit. It's like, right, let's have a game of this, and then you can go on. And you know what? You might be on the move. You might be on the bus. Well, you can download levels of a 3G which is really cool, so you can say, right, come on, let's have a look what levels there are for four players on the same device, and you and your friends all sit around it and, you know, kick the crap out of each other or shoot balls at each other or do whatever you want, yeah? I know it's early going, but do you plan on, on possibly supporting lbp.me, which was like, you know, that great website that, uh, for a little bit of two levels and people to discover them? Uh, absolutely, yeah, I mean, we, we love lbp.me, yeah, it's so cool, and we, we our, our challenge is always to make sure people can find the good stuff there's like there's over four million levels made for PlayStation 3, and it's really important that people can find the good things because there is a lot of them. But there's also a lot of crap as well. Yeah, in four million levels, so you want to make sure you. Can that was my level you're talking about, <laughs> and mine as well. <laughs> um, but you want to be able to make sure you can get to the good stuff. And LVP.me was really good for doing that. You could queue up levels. Well, LVP.me is going to come across the PlayStation Vita, so you can search for levels. Maybe at work, um, well, not our work, yeah, because we would never do that, but, you know, when you're bored during the day and the boss is out, you can look for levels, um, find some levels, see what your friends have played, see what your friends have recommended, then you can queue up levels, and then when you go home, you can play them, and that's going to come across the PlayStation Vita, because we really want to share the community. We want to, you know, the community, so we love our community. 
And, uh, well, we, we know you love the community, so why don't we actually bring in a question from the community. Oh, Sid, no, here, let me get right over here. So uh, we have some questions from Twitter, and uh, let's see what the community has to say. That's right. A lot of questions focusing on that touch screen and that rear touch pad. Good example here is old Mario's uh, tweet. Will the touch screen be a required playment feature, play playability feature, or will you be able to use traditional controls? And also, how does the rear touch pad uh, harness for gameplay? Okay, so throughout the game we're going to use touch. Yeah, we think that it's a fantastic feature. Um, and there will be um, games in there which are touch based. There'll be games in there which aren't. If we built, say, a um, side scrolling shooter, yeah, they work really well with an analog stick and an X button. We're not going to just force touch into things for the sake of it, but there is going to be touch used throughout the game um, for, for positive reasons. I think this, it, the same goes for rear touch. You know, we'll use rear touch where we think it feels right, and we won't force it in where it doesn't feel right. I got one more here. Uh, so, so Rab wants to know how many players will be supported on the Vita version of Little Big Planet. Okay, so we've got we've got four players. Um, if you exclude the millions of people out there in the community, we're all playing it. But I know uh, he means at the same time. But what's really interesting is that when we're playing the game, quite often um, I play the game and someone will come along and I'm I'm struggling with a puzzle and I want to. I need to move around some blocks, and, I, and then the guy can say, oh, hey, Art, you, you moved that. So four people can play it, but someone else could actually be helping you as well by doing the touch bits for you. So uh, it's four player, but maybe with a little bit of addition as well for, with the touch. And, and there's the ability to share, and I'm sure we'll see some people come up with some cool stuff. The thing I like about, it this mo about this the most thing so far is you're not just going to be able to make little different games and platforms, platform levels. You really get to unlock the abilities. It's almost like a dev kit for the Vita. So Pete, thanks very much for taking the time. I, I'm sure other people are actually queuing up here so they can get on to play uh, Little Big Planet. I know you got a, a long, uh, another day and a half of E3, but I wanted to make sure the community got to see this, and uh, thanks very much. Thank you very much.